Hello and welcome to Auto Inform Tool Supplement. My name is Frank Massey and the purpose of these small clips is to show you some of the simplistic tools we use to help us diagnose and test systems. One of probably the most regularly used tools and probably one of the oldest that I have in my box is a simple vacuum pump. In actual fact it's a vacuum and pressure pump but we've, we use this primarily to introduce vacuum to control systems. Where we have a situation where perhaps electronics are used to control either vacuum or pressure to say a turbo wastegate diaphragm, it's important to know for sure that the diaphragm and the mechanical functionality of these systems actually works correctly. And to do that, there's no better way than to provide a vacuum independently from a pump like this. Another example of where this pump can be very effective is with pressure sensed or map sensed fueling systems. If the vacuum in the engine is incorrect, then the fueling of the vehicle will be incorrect by virtue of the fact that the pressure applied to the map sensor will be interpreted at the wrong value. And we have to separate the possibility of this being a mechanical engine fault against a sensor fault. And one way of testing these sensors is to provide an independent vacuum of a known value. So we would use this gauge, probably supplement it with a more accurate gauge than this. We have some calibrated gauges which we have handmade and built. And to then check the voltage output from that device. We're also, if we suspect that the engine is a, is a, a problem, able to connect this to the manifold sensor, provide the correct vacuum and then watch the fueling response independently then monitoring the engine vacuum. So what we've done is we've interrupted the link between the engine and the electronics by introducing an independent vacuum from this pump to the device or sensor which then allows us to independently assess whether the problem is both mechanical and or electronic. And also when we generate positive pressure we use a simple bicycle pump. We find this extremely effective where perhaps slightly higher pressures are involved and of course we don't guess the value of this. There is a gauge on this pump but we actually will also use an independent gauge to carefully monitor the control pressure that we're applying to the wastegate control diaphragm. So although very simple, they're extremely effective at confirming correct mechanical functionality before we're involved in perhaps expensive strip downs of turbo control systems.